Hello, I'm Ariel from the Inconspicuous Bear, and I'll be narrating the Shaw of Pride encounter in the Ten Man Normal instance of the Siege of Ogremar from a Guardian point of view. This encounter is incredibly boring from a tank perspective. There's only a couple of things you need to worry about. Uh, one for something that's very tank specific, only happens to tanks, and the second is just a positioning thing. Uh, the first thing you need to worry about is a debuff called Wounded Pride. This will be applied to the current main threat target on a kind of feels like a random interval. I'm pretty sure it's timed. Um, but uh, every so often, the main threat target will get a debuff called Wounded Pride. Um, if the Shaw of Pride attacks the, a target with Wounded Pride, um, that target will gain 5 Pride. And f Pride is a bad thing. You don't want to get it. Um, because it causes nasty things to happen uh, when he uses an ability called... Uh, bursting Pride, I think it's called. Um, if you're tanking this boss correctly, if you and your co-tank are doing this correctly, you will never actually get above, like, 25 Pride. So you can pretty much straight up ignore Bursting Pride entirely. The second you, ability you need to worry about is purely for positioning. Every so often, he, the boss will cast an ability called Corrupted Prison. You can see the four circles are right around where the boss is spawns standing. He doesn't move, so where he's standing right now, there's four little uh, circles around him, each with three little platforms, sections, I don't know, you pick your word. Every so often, in Ten Man, he'll activate two of these circles and trap two people inside them. Now, to free the person, you need to depress or stand on two of those three sections. Um, it's really easy just to have tanks handle the one of the sections because they'll never really move anyway. Um, so the person that's currently tanking the boss will stand on the section closest to him, um, and then the person who's ta not tanking the boss will go to one of the other two sections. Uh, it's pretty simple, and you can't actually stand on the prison while he's casting it, because then you'll just get knocked away. Um, so you just kind of have to watch your timer, wait until it's almost gone, and you can actually be like almost to your section by the time the timer goes off. You just can't be standing on it or else you get knocked off. And I'm pretty sure you get game pride. I've never actually looked at it personally because I, I just don't do that. It's really easy to handle. Just don't stand on it when the prison's being cast. The talent choices for this encounter are actually incredibly boring. Uh, you take Feely and Swiftness just to get to the prisons faster, even though they're really only five steps away to begin with. Um, neither, neither of the other two movement talents are going to ben benefit you at all, so you might as well just take Feely and Swiftness. Um, for healing, Ysera's Gift or Scenarium Ward, there's no... It's going to be really hard to min-max Scenarium Ward because there's not any constant damage, and the bursts get healed up pretty much instantly by your healers. Um, so you're probably better off just using your Saras. There's no reason to take Renewal. There's no burst tank damage. You'll be perfectly fine. Ignore the CC tiers because you're hardly ever going to be over by the adds anyway. You can if you want to min-max DPS. Um, but then you'd have to watch when to Prime Timer so you don't flip the boss around on the melee and they get mad at you because they're suddenly getting parried. The uh, Performance Enhancing Talents. Soul of the Forester Incarnation. Pick whatever you want to use, doesn't matter. The bear tier uh, makes absolutely no difference, so just ignore it. Um, as for the hybridity tier, it's really hard to make a full use out of a Heart of the Wild. You're hardly ever, you're basically just not going to get to, period. Just take Dream of Scenarius and, or, or Nature's Vigil if that's what you feel is best. For the meta gem and cloak choices, just go with DPS items. I mean, if you don't have a spare helm for a DPS meta gem, that's fine, but there's no real reason to have the tank meta on this encounter. There's, like I said previously, there's no tank damage. He hits like a wimp. His special abilities are harmless. Um, save Barkskin for Swelling Pride and you're fine. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. This encounter is incredibly boring. I wouldn't be surprised if you fall asleep. I hope you enjoyed this video, and definitely check out the rest of the Sea Dorva Ogremar raid guides on my YouTube channel. Prison in three.
I taunted that, I don't know why. Taunt back. <laughs> I guess to give you more time tanking? I don't know. <laughs> Pride. Yep. GG. Take him. That was cool. I do not need to coin this. Well. 